evening. Welcome to the first episode of Tomasic Telecasts. I'm Lady Kai Kai. And I'm Taylin Sui. And together, we are the Trusty Duo. Bringing you the latest gossip, news, and everything else about the Masik Hall that you, you didn't, didn't know. know. On with our top story on today's Terrible, terrible things. things! The recent feud between our two loving brothers, Issa and Ken. Oh, you mean the two boys from Bash last year? They killed him! I think the Ken right. killed him. The Ken killed him. No. The Ken's so cute! Issa is better. How is that my mother and brother? The Ken's has your friendship come to an end? No, oh, friendships are so fragile. Like ours. We have asked our reporter, Jovin Intervenes, to find out more. Thank you, Kai Kai. I'm currently standing at a crime scene where a gruesome offence took place last week. On Tuesday, at exactly 2.26pm, Ken appears to be borrowing a wire cutter, as seen from the Tomase Hall senior screen check. But the question is, for what? In exactly 2 hours and 26 minutes later, the glorious TH stapler was missing. Was this an accident? Or was this a disgusting and skimmy ploy set up by Ken Lam Tin Hong? Let us talk to the head of the welfare call and also the father of the stapler, Isa Zain, to hear about what he has to say. Yeah! He need the wire cutter for what? Cut the gloves at the back gate, is it? Chicken nugget! I don't think so. You see, I even asked him on the group chat. Use the wire cutter, cut the stapler at the printer. Ah. You know what his reply was? It was so defensive! Did you take the stapler? I didn't! This stapler is the core of the master hall. Whenever it runs out of bullets, I will feel it empty inside. The hall will feel empty! It is chained to the foundation of our hall! But obviously, Ken Lam doesn't care about anything but himself. Selfish, yeah. I brought the wire cutter for my own personal needs. This is uh, should learn to mind his own business. Hey, ever since he became hawking, disgusting. It's become so controlling, especially towards me. He still say he wants to sue me for center. Then go ahead la! Bloody manko, no boss one la. Okay, let's expire already. Wow, what fight is it? Huh? Come on, come on, there! Back to you, Kai Kai, back to you, Kai Kai. Whoa, that was certainly an intense argument, right? Kai Kai. Sure was, wasn't it? Let's see what the other passerbys have to say about this mystery. Ooh. So, I think, have you heard about the recent mystery of the missing stapler? Huh? Missing stapler? Is that it here? Back to you, Taylin. Uh, uh, okay. okay. Now let's stop with these terrible things for a moment and go on to happier things. Agreed, Taylin Swift. Now for the next segment of Versus Darius. In this episode, I'm out to find out who the true weightlifter of Tomasic Hall is. I look for nothing but the best. Now, we are here at the Tomasic Hall Gymnasium where I heard there's a wild beast there. Come, shh, be quiet, follow me. Do you even live? Live? You said live? So Ruben, do you want to share some tips to our viewers who just want to be like you? I know there's a lot of misconception about nutrition. Let me tell you, diet is all that matters. For breakfast, 
I blend three strands of the Kom Ho Auntie's hair together with the cockroaches that I catch from Cheng Boon's room every night and together with my protein shake. Then for lunch, I need my carbs. I eat only shredded papers from the hall office. For dinner, when everyone is queuing up at the Kom Hall to hit my daily macros, the secret is to drink water off the shower head. Then, when I'm hungry for supper, I will pluck three blades of grass from the quartz and five raw century eggs and blend it together with my protein shake again. Wow, that was really insightful. Thank you so much for your time. I definitely learned a lot. Back to you, Kai Kai. Wow, there was certainly so much to digest, right, Kai Kai? Certainly was. But now, let's move on to our next segment, Tornadoes and Torpedoes with Yu Feng. For tuning into Tomase Telecast. This is Taylor Swift, Lady Kai Kai. Sign off.